guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Reading Percy Jackson with my Christian mother. I am your host, Mila Martinez, and this is my co-host. I am the Christian mom who is thebomb.com. My name is Misty. And this week we read chapter 13 and 14, Annabeth Tries to Swim Home, and we meet the Sheep of Doom. Which I have is a lot not, to say. Which I is, have a lot to say. Which is not Grover, because Grover is not a Sheep of Doom. I have a lot to say. Okay. Mm. Mm. So what? Mm. Uh, the first thing is, well, what were your thoughts on this chapter? It was a great chapter. I mean, chapters. <laughs> yeah, this was a great chapter. So, yeah. Percy's able to, he's able to steer this ship with ease. The he Queen realizes Andrew that Revenge. this is his niche, right? This is, this is his turf. That's right. Um, he sees a series of nerds. Did I say that right? Nerds. Um, they're either called nerds or nerds. Okay. Um, the glowing spirits of the sea, um, and the forges of Hephaestus, Hephaestus. That's where that's he my makes friend. things my like friend. bronze bulls. Like the bronze bulls that attacked camp. Um, <laughs> that look, you yeah. gave me that look. <laughs> Percy, this is okay, so this is where... This is where everything happens. Yeah, so yeah. Percy's like, hey, Andrew, so why do you hate Cyclops so much? And she's just like, well, because Tyson isn't here now, I can actually tell you. And the reason she hates Cyclops is, is, uh, so, um, Annabeth... hear how she says it. Ugh. So Annabeth says that while Grover, well, like, while Grover was leading her, Tolly, and Luke to camp, Grover took a couple wrong turns, and they... Stop right there. Yes. Grover. <laughs> Grover took some wrong turns. Was leading them. Yes. And he took wrong turns. Yes. Getting them into some immense danger. Yes. Correct. Grover. That's correct. Mm hmm. That is correct. It mm. was Grover. It happened right at it the beginning of the chapter. It was Grover leading the group. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. That's yeah. all I have to say. I was done. I was like, mm. Mm. You know how mm. you know how Grover mm. looks um, the same age as Percy and Annabeth. Mm -hmm. He would have looked seven. He would have. He would have looked seven. Still getting them lost and <laughs> dead. Okay. Dead. Dead. Almost dead. Well, anyway, they were in Brooklyn, and we know some people that are in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. We know that the Canes are in Brooklyn. So we so there's some weird things going on in Brooklyn. So anyway, they, they, they're in Brooklyn. Weirder than their, um, like, protector getting them lost and almost killed. And they wind up in a Cyclops cave. And... Thanks to... Thanks to Grover. Because he took wrong turns. And while they're in that Cyclops cave, it was a freaking maze. Mm -hmm. A freaking maze. Not a freaking maze, a freaking maze. So Annabeth says that she gets, I guess, away from the pack, and then mm -hmm. whenever she comes to, that she finds Talia, Luke, and Grover tied, tied up, up, tied down, tied upside down, hanging over a fire. Yes. So she has to stab the Cyclops's foot in the foot. She's seven, mind she's you. Seven she's seven to get away. Yeah. She's seven, and she goes and unties Talia, mm -hmm. 12 years old. Yeah. 12 year old Talia. Yes. These children are young. Very. I think Luke's the oldest, he's like 14 mm -mm -mm. in this situation. But, oh, Grover. You can see my basketball shorts. Mm -hmm. But, Grover. But, Grover. Ooh, but, Grover. <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't think there's been one episode where we haven't ranted on like Grover's incompetence in these books. Well, it's not hard. <laughs> it's, it's not hard. Like you have one job, bro. One You're job. Protector. Mm -mm. Not no. doing that. You're in a cave about to get married. You're the mm. opposite of protecting. And yeah, and then you're going to summons Percy, and if Percy doesn't help you, he gonna be a vegetable. Sea cucumber. He's gonna be a sea cucumber. Again. Again. Grover. You're a protector, not a. What's the, the opposite of a protector? Grover. That's what it is. It's Grover. A, it's a Grover. It's a Grover. So, 
So anyway, after Annabeth tells the story, Percy's is like amazed. He's just like, you were seven when this happened. She's like, that is correct. He's <laughs> like, I'm not sure I could have done that when I was seven. Yeah. So then they approach, they're, they're starting to come across the sirens. The sirens. Who show people exactly what they want. And Annabeth's just like, hey, Percy, instead of like steering around them, yeah, I want you to tie me to that pole right there. And he's like, great idea. Great idea. He's just, just like, he's just like, well, I'm going to trust Annabeth because it's Annabeth. Don't trust Annabeth Mm-mm. because it's Annabeth. No. Come on. And when they're almost. When they're almost to the sirens. To the very end of the sirens because they play this music, right? That's like hypnotizing. They, they, they like, they, they play like a music. They like sing some songs that like would attract you to it so so what what music would you like hear probably some like hardcore rap <laughs> just kidding <laughs> just kidding <laughs> no so then some, some crocs right some when christian they're rock. almost done yeah i probably would some um, crock some christian rock for crock. sure um like some hill song worship and uh, elevation anyway um oh, whenever they get, whenever they're almost done uh he's like i can't look at her because percy's like Help me. She, Help she's me. just like, Percy, whatever you do, however hard I scream, however hard I beg, however, like, if I start crying, do not untie me. And Percy, being the idiot he is, forgot to, d- forgot to disarm knife. her. He forgot to take her knife away. So he's looking away. He looks back so, Oh, oh, by minutes. the way, and by the way, how Percy can't hear this, he, like, takes some wads of uh, wax. wax and shoves them Candle in his wax. ear. Like, yeah. Not gonna ask. Mm-mm. They're like I don't ba- know how they got that out. There are barrels of candle wax like in the hull of the ship. Like Isn't that something. That's something. <laughs> I don't know what they're planning to do with all that wax, but So he couldn't hear anything, but he could see that yeah. the sirens were ugly creatures. Yeah. He no, when Annabeth was like away, not away, he, she jumped over the ship. She jumped over the side of the ship mm-hmm. and then started swimming started, towards st- them. started swimming towards it. And Percy being the son of the sea he is, jumps into the, the water mm-hmm. to save mm-hmm. her. And he's like swimming around all these yachts and sea mines mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and broken ships. Because apparently this is a big problem. All these people who did not survive. Yeah, because I think we need to talk to like the gods about that. It's just like, hey, can you get, can you like stop these sirens? This is a, this is a problem in the sea monster. They probably like it. They're probably like, no, we put them there on purpose. But, <laughs> dudes, my dudes. So, so Percy's swimming to Annabeth, and he's swimming, and she's crying, and Percy actually sees the sirens for what they truly are, and I'm going to get out the description, because that's what I do best, other, other than scaring okay. my mom. They remind me of those blobfish people that are like half blobfish, half mermaid. The, the SNL thing? Yes. Isn't that what you see? That was hilarious. If you haven't seen it, it's, the, it's like an, it's a Saturday Night Live skit. Where it's, um, this guy gets, um, uh, hi- I highlight something. Whenever I highlight something, I connect to that, I connect to that sentence. So it's, I felt jumpy. Like, the instinct to be a scary little animal was not part of me. Or maybe it had always been there. Oh, yeah, yeah. the little hamster that the he little, got The little there. hamster, yeah. First he was feeling that. Um... Yes, here it is. Then the mist cleared, and I saw them, the sirens. Imagine a flock of vultures the size of people. My mom already hates birds. Mm-hmm. This is bad for her. Nope. I'm not going near them. With dirty, big, with dirty black plumage, mm-hmm. gray talons, and wrinkled pink necks. Now imagine there's human heads on top of those necks. No, and the human no, heads no. keep changing. Mm-hmm. So he sees them change into his mom and Annabeth. And Everybody Grover he wants and to talk Tyson. to. Yeah. Chiron. Chiron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those people. Everyone. Yeah, everybody that he is like wanting to talk to at the moment. At that moment, yeah. yeah. So he grabs Annabeth, and when he grabs her heel, he can he, see he what can she's... He can see what she's seeing. Yes. The moment I touched her, a shock mm, went through my that. body, and I saw the sirens the way Annabeth must have been seeing them. 
Three people were on a picnic blanket in Central Park. A feast is spread out before them. I recognized Annabeth's dad from a photo she'd seen me, and an athletic looking sandy haired guy in his 40s. He was holding hands with a beautiful woman who looked a lot like Annabeth. She was dressed mm -hmm. casually in blue jeans and a denim shirt and hiking boots, but something was something about the woman radiated power. I knew I was looking at the goddess Athena. Next next to them sat a young man. It was Luke. What? And then <clears throat> she would I'm say not, Luke. Oh no duh, obviously. I thought for sure she was gonna say Grover. Just like, kidding. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so uh, that's perfect, John. Yeah. <laughs> so he pulls her into the water, and he realizes so, that no, when no, 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 no. I want to talk about the rest of this though. Oh. So anyway, Percy sees. Then Percy sees the. Um, he sees like it's New York, but it's not New York. It's like made of gold, and it's, they said it's nicer than Olympus. It's nicer than Olympus, and he knew it was like designed by Annabeth. Mm -hmm. So. Yes. So. So obviously this is like her dream. Yeah. This is what She's she wanted. She created it. She, she yeah. built it. Yes. This is she. She brought her parents back together. She saved Luke. She just she rebuilt everything. Mm -hmm. so this is what Annabeth wants. It's <laughs> Annabeth York. <laughs> kind of. Maybe. I don't. I don't want to. Okay, don't let's, let's not do that. So, um, he pulls her into the water, so and then he her. wishes for bubbles. Yeah, he, he wishes for bubbles, he's just like, bubbles. It's like, it's like, it's like you know what, you know that Finding Nemo thing? It's just like, bubble, 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 bubble. It's like the chest of bubbles. Yeah, he wishes for bubbles and wishes, poop. Yeah, poop. They're All in a big them. bubble except for their legs, right? Yeah, their legs are wet. It's like a uh, submarine bubble. You know how you feel like with um when you get your sh your socks wet. Mm -hmm. I don't think that would feel like that. disgusting. That's, that is gross. They're like sloshy. The rest of the yeah no. Then mm -hmm. imagine that with your shoes. Not my favorite. Now not imagine favorite that all. feeling with your shoes. Mm, no. It's disgusting. Yeah. Then your shoes are heavy. Ugh. Yeah no. Uh. So anyway, then then they was oh that's not like mm -hmm. <laughs> then they see. A bunch of then Percy sees like a bunch of um, d d uh, fish. I almost mm -hmm. said bugs for a second, or and birds, but fish. And they're just like, ooh, yeah. goss, fish gossip. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's like, I just. He tells them to shoo, but he's like, I just know that they're gonna go and be like, we saw Poseidon's son with some girl yeah. in a bubble At the by the, the sirens. Ocean. Yeah. Ooh. Fish yeah. brick. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's funny. I like that. Fish got it's fit. It's like, what is it? It's um, what's that morning show that like, it's basically just like all gossip morning oh, show. Oh, the talk. Yes, it's like yeah. that but with fish. Uh, <laughs> Imagine no, that but with no. fish. So. So they get back on the ship and Annabeth's still crying. She's like in shock. She's in shock. She's crying. She's shattered. Yeah. And I think he's like, I feel like one would be. Yeah, he's like. And Percy's just like, yeah, maybe you should stay out of water for like two, a long time. He's like, should I tell her that I know what she saw? And then he's just like, being the being the male he is, mm. being the male he is, he's just like, should I tell her? Should I not tell her? Should I tell her? Mm. He decides to not tell her yet until she's mentally stable. Yeah. So, so he gives her like two minutes. Two minutes, <laughs> because he's a male. <laughs> and then he's like, "Ah, oh, let me tell And you. then whenever they're like out of, out of like here, well, he still has the candle wax. So when, when Annabeth tells him that they're out of like hearing reach of the sirens, he takes out his his giant clogs of wax, mm -hmm. and then they talk. <laughs> yeah. And she tells Percy that her fatal her, her, her fatal, fatal flaw, flaw is hummus. Hummus. Just kidding. That's what Percy heard. <laughs> hubris. Yeah, it's hubris. And it's he's like, hummus, that's that nasty stuff you put on a sandwich. She's just like, dude, you're an idiot. Some hummus is actually know. good, though. I've never tried hummus. Put celery. Mm -mm -mm. But anyways, and her um, fatal flaw he's is... like, what is that? And she's like, it's believing... That she can do it better. Yeah. Than like even the gods, better than everybody. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm trying to. Wrong chapter. 
Okay. So the siren showed her a new world that she built that was better than what the gods built. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm So, and she's like, oh, I can do it better, you know? Yep. Um, I found it, I found it. Um... Uh, so she says that, she, she, she says, you ever feel like, what if the world really is messed up? What if we could do it over again from scratch? No more wars, nobody homeless, no more summer reading homework. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. I mean, the West mm -hmm. represents a lot of the best things mankind ever did. Wrong. That's why the fire is still burning. That's why Olympus is still around. But sometimes you just see the bad stuff, you know? You start to think the way Luke does. If I could tear it down, I would do it better. I don't know. Do you ever feel that way? Like you could do a better job if you ran the world? Um, no. Me running the world would kind of be a nightmare. Disaster. Yeah. <laughs> and that is pretty much the end. Well, actually, yeah. as they're talking, Annabeth sees a saddle-shaped island yeah. with lush fields of green, and they've reached the home of the Cyclops. Finally. Okay, now I have a question for you. What? What's your fatal flaw? Or what do you think it is? Oh, I know I can do it better. Okay. Hubris, obviously. Um, Just kidding. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I think, need to think about that. I think mine would be like, I have an issue with control. Oh, for I sure. Think I have an issue with handing over control to people. 1,200 percent. Yeah. And that is the end of chapter okay. 13. Now that we know what end of a fatal flaw is, what do you what think Percy's fatal flaw is? So what do you think Percy's fatal flaw? I'm... Oh, Percy's fatal flaw is that he thinks that he can, I think that he has the same like he, he thinks not maybe not better than the gods but I think mm -hmm. that he thinks that he can do it all oh okay because in every book um per, we've been after like one of Percy's loved ones mm -hmm. whether it's Sally or Grove's man mm -hmm. so what do you think that connects to like his friends and his family. Yeah, maybe he thinks that he can fix everything. I think he's a fixer. He thinks that he can. He's a fixer of first. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. He, he's a fixer. Yeah. He can fix everything. I think he thinks that he can fix everything. So not that he can redo everything, but that he can. Not that he can do it better than the gods, but I think that, he, that he thinks he can, that like, he can fix it. Fix it. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, chapter 13 is called, We Meet the Sheep of Doom, who is not Grover. He is a doom sheep. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not Grover, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not going to say Grover is not the sheep of doom. That's a double negative, which makes it a positive. <laughs> I mean, I didn't write the book. <laughs> right there. I don't get. I don't. I don't pick up what you're putting down. I mean, I'm putting it down, girl. But I don't pick it up. I wouldn't either. Nobody I'm, should okay. put it over because you're gonna die if you do. <laughs> what? I'm what? Why do you keep looking at me? Because I, I don't. I don't get what you're saying. I'm just saying, Grover's a little um, dangerous. Yeah, I agree. I think the dumb blonde is kicking it. Mm. <laughs> hmm. anyway so anyway chapter 14, chapter 14. did i say 13 yeah. i meant 14 yeah it's been a long we're on chapter 14 day. we're yeah mm -hmm. to percy and Anna, i see the cyclops island it's beautiful nothing about it looks evil which is really weird evil except yeah. for the cyclops who is very weird <laughs> Yeah, he's um. I wonder if he's a blonde. Just kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sorry to all blondes. <laughs> sorry to the blondes Just who are watching kidding. this. You are in no way dumb, <laughs> unless you are. Then you are dumb. But you could be. You could have any air, air color. You could have <laughs> any hair color for that. Yeah, and be dumb. Yeah, it's all good though. <laughs> and if you are, I'd probably straight up say it to you. Wow. But in a nice way. That's harsh. And then I would have to correct her. It's all good. We're good. Then I have to correct myself. Moving on. And moving on. Um, so it's beautiful with green meadows and sheep. And Percy sees the deer come out of the woods. And the sheep and are like piranhas. Yeah. 
And they eat the deer clean to the bones. Mm-hmm. Only a pile of bones is left. It's like, what? Where, where, do you, where do you breed these sheep? Why need one? I need one. They're going to eat Chi-Chi and yes. Oscar. Okay, we <laughs> don't she's need one. Occupied. We don't need one. I'm in. This animal CBD. <laughs> for his joints. But he makes him high. He's fine. We he's... don't know what it does. We just know. It makes him bubbly. Yeah. It makes him bubbly. Yeah. So we'll lay there and allow you to put your foot on his head. It's fine. He's good. He's still alive. Anyway. So, Percy. Um, so, the, the piranha sheep eat the deer, mm-hmm. and now uh, they're scared. So, when their ship arrives at the shore, they see another lifeboat there. It's Clarice. So Percy's Yay. like, oh, maybe Tyson is with her. Maybe he's Yay. not dead. So that kind of makes him happy for a second there. Yay. Okay. Well, um, but it isn't Tyson. So whenever they yeah, no. look over the cliff, right, they can see mm-hmm. that it's Clarice and Grover. Uh, Grover. And of course, Clarice being the sweetheart. The that sweetheart she is. She is. Um, tells tells the, Polyphemus that Grover is a satyr, mm-hmm. not a girl cyclops. And he is so confused. Oh, and by the way, Clarice is hanging over a pot of boiling water. Mm-hmm. And um, Grover's like, it's the boiling water getting to her head, sweetie. It's fine. And then the cyclops is just like, I mean, Polyphemus is just like, I may be a half-blind cyclops, but you're no lady. So he takes the thing that he's been making. The, the veil. Yeah. The wedding train. He the takes veil. the wedding veil off of his head, right? Yeah. And that's whenever he sees his little baby horns. Mm-hmm. 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 And mm-hmm. his baby horns. <laughs> <laughs> what did you call him? What did you call Grover? Like, when it, whenever you couldn't remember his name. Small you, horn? No, it was like, um, Little Horn. Little Horn. Little yeah, Horn. Little Horn. <laughs> little Horn. And so. his curly, in his mop of, like, curly hair. Yeah. And so now, Polyphemus is like, I'm going to eat Grover, and Clarice will be my bride. What? Dude, she, and in in this, she was just like, get me down so I can murder you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, murder. Yeah. That, was, that was her first word. Her first word was murder. Yeah, instead of mama, it was murder, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Murder. Yeah. So, but Grover's like, you can't eat me now. Yeah. Um, I'll taste better with mango and blah, blah, with, blah. Like, like, um, with like, I have, a, I have a recipe, he said. Yeah. He said, I have a, I have a recipe with like mango something. And Polyphemus is like, hmm, hmm. I like mango. But then like. With the, the side of avocado. Yeah. Just and then, and then he puts Grover and Clarice. He like he picks them up, and he puts them in a hole, mm-hmm. and then closes that hole, yes. and then proceeds to go out and find Mango. And then he's just muttering to himself, "What's Mango?" Yes. <laughs> yeah. So then. Um, so first thing they both have an idea. Yay. So first they have to climb up this like mountain, which is not a little, which is only a little harder than the rock climbing wall at back at camp. Yeah, and then their hands are bleeding at the end. Yeah, just a little harder. By the end, their hands are bleeding, yeah. and one time Annabeth's foot slips, and then she finds Percy's head as yeah. a footrest. It's like I never wanted to eat her shoe, but, but or to taste it. But I never wanted to taste the sole of her sneaker, yeah. but but here we are. <laughs> Here we are. He, she's, he, she's just like, you like the view? He's just like, get your foot off my head. Yeah, yeah. Take, can you get your toe out of my mouth? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. I just imagine that, like, her shoe is in his mouth. <laughs> That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Imagine she stepped in crap. <laughs> she probably did. They're so soggy, I'm sure, from the ocean. <laughs> Because he doesn't fine. mind a little salt water. That's true. He's probably like, eh, it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> doesn't taste like it. Wait, wait, I have a question for you. Mm-hmm. So you know how, like, Annabeth and Percy were at sea for a long time? Mm-hmm. Do you think that, like, do you, do, I don't think they had any, like, purified water. So do you think, like, Percy tried to drink the, the salt water? Mm. And, it, like, they, and Annabeth is just like, dude, stop, no, and he, and, and he drinks the salt water. He's just like, it tastes just like Coke. Now, how long were they at sea? I don't remember. Hmm. It's a good question. Salt water, that does some things to you. Yeah. 
And since Percy is the son of Poseidon, do you think it would be so for him? No. So Percy's just like, Annabeth, that tastes like Coke. And yeah. Annabeth's just like, Percy is salt water. She's like illu- delusional. Yeah, Percy's like, That's probably why she was like swimming Percy's to the salt sirens. Water. Yeah. But he's like, wasn't because he's fine with the salt water. Mm-hmm. Because he's Poseidon's son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And everything's good when he's Poseidon's son. Very much so. Yeah. Very much so. Does that mean that children of Zeus can like withstand, um, what is it? It's the like thin atmospheres, and um, children of Hades can like withstand Hell? earth pressure. Oh. I meant pressure in oh. earth. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go to Mila's science corner. Mm-hmm. So Percy. Can um, breathe underwater. He can probably stand the pressures of the the underwater. So you see, whenever you go underwater, it starts getting more pressurized and pressurized and pressurized until it can crush human bones. Unless you have a really trained submarine, then it won't. So here's what I'm gonna say to that. It reminds mm-hmm. me of this one time. This little girl, she was out and she was telling people about Jesus, and she was what? out in public. Hold on, wait for it. And uh, this atheist comes and he's like, I got this little girl, right? He's like, so, you believe in Jesus? And she was like, yeah. He's like, so you believe in all of these miracles? And she was like, yeah, I do. She was like, he goes, okay, so you believe that this dude was in like a fish for three days? She was like, well, yeah, if it's in the Bible. He goes, "Uh, so, well, how do you know that it's real? And she was like, because it's in the Bible. And he goes, uh... What did she say? Uh, she goes, whenever I get to heaven, I'll, I'll ask. Oh, he goes, well, how did he do that? And she goes, well, whenever I get to heaven, I'll ask him. And he goes, well, what if he's not in heaven? And she goes, well, then you ask him. Why did you bring this up? Because we don't know. So, like, we'll find out later. I have no idea. <laughs> Why did you bring this up? Why? I just feel like I can go on a random tandem okay sometimes too okay because i know it irritates you yeah it does i love it anyway so happy so anyway um (laughs) you're welcome thanks so 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 annabeth and grover they um my husband's not getting in a fight he's just talking on the phone (laughs) by the way which is very loud yeah um so anyway Annabeth uses her invisibility cap to sneak inside, mm-hmm. and Percy sneaks in on the belly of um, a sheep. And when Polyphemus was like pets the sheep, he's just like, like when they're going back inside, Polyphemus was just like, "Oh, you're getting fat. Yeah, you're getting fat. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to eat you later." And I'm just like, "I feel bad for that. I feel for that sheep. Yeah. I feel bad for that sheep." <laughs> right. It's just like it's just like, "Oh no, he's going to eat me." <laughs> He gonna, he gonna eat me. Yeah. Murder a sheep. <laughs> he's like, uh, um, he tells the, the little sheep, he's like, oh, you look like you've gained some weight. Yeah. But really, it was like Percy on the it bottom. Was, it was it. Percy's weight, and yeah. that is funny. That is hilarious. It's like Percy, she's like, I'm not that heavy. <laughs> You're a male. <laughs> You're a 13-year-old male. So, they decide Annabeth's going to slip inside with her invisibility clap. A uh, Cap. Clap. Not clap. <laughs> Invisibility clap. Um, cap. Um, and Percy's under the sheep. Mm-hmm. And since the, cli- the Cyclops has terrible eyesight, they're mm-hmm. able to sneak in. Yes. So, um, and once inside, Annabeth yells at Polyphemus and blames it on nobody. Yeah, nobody. And apparently, a hero long ago tricked Odysseus. him. Mm. Um, and use the name nobody. So mm-hmm. Polyphemus is so angry at nobody mm-hmm. and throws the nearest boulder, which happens to be his front door. So yeah. score. So now the door is open. Yay. And destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so while Annabeth is distracting the Cyclops, Percy goes on search for Clarice and Grover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So what do you think is going to happen in the next chapter? Well, we're not done yet. Oh, we don't? Okay. No. So he eventually finds Grover. Yes, he does. Trying to cut Clarice free. With safety scissors. Yeah, with safety scissors. Because it's Grover. Yeah, and this stuff is like as hard as steel oh, that she's tied up with. And she's like, dude, you've been doing this for a day. Like, stop. Like, yeah, dude. And so whenever, Gro- whenever Percy like walks in there... Clarice is like, Ugh. not you again. She's like, I thought y'all died, and he's like, Well, it's good to see you too, Clarice. Good to see you too, Clarice. She's like, Well, I thought everybody died, and um, Grover's like, oh, You heard me. You heard me when I called you. And he's just like, No frick. And he's like, I can't believe you came. <laughs> Percy's just like, No dip, Sherlock. Yeah, he's like. Uh, why? Like, of course I would come. Otherwise, I would be I'd a vegetable. I'd be a cucumber. Yeah, sea I'd be cucumber. a sea cucumber. <laughs> we were both thinking that. Otherwise, I'd be yeah. a sea cucumber. So then Percy pulls out his sword, riptide, and... Chwang! And he cuts her free and tells them um, they have to go make sure that Annabeth is okay. Yeah. Just as he hears this screaming cry that sounds like Annabeth is... Okay. That's where we leave off. So what do you think is happening in the next chapter? Someone going to die. Okay. Yeah. Um, so the next chapter is chapter 15. It's called Nobody Gets the Fleece. Oh. Well, that was the whole point. Yeah. And the chapter is 16. I go down with the ship. So, not getting the fleece. Somebody's going down. We're going down. We're I'm going, going to bed. You better move. You, you better, better dance. dance. Let's make, make a night. Move. You won't remember. I'll, I'll be, be the one. one. You won't forget. Okay. Oscar's like, oh, ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, nobody's gonna get the fleece, and someone's going down with the ship. And it ain't me. Not me either. It ain't me. So anyway, now it's time to include... So what is your weakness? Um, my fatal flaw is controlling and attention. I'm an attention seeker, and I'm a freaking control freak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what's yours? I'm just perfect. Is that one? Um... What's the fail flaw for thinking that you're perfect? Just kidding. No. <laughs> um, mine would be my fatal flaw. My inability to let go. Okay. I think that's uh, hold a, the grudge. Yeah. Uh, holding grudges. If we were to look at a couple other characters in Percy Jackson, what do you think their fatal flaws would be like? My Grover's fatal flaw is being incompetent that's his oh, being incompetent i'm gonna say you're in the wrong line of business bro yeah maybe yeah. not be a protector maybe not how about just a uh, popcorn server at the camp yeah but clarice's fatal flaw what do you think hers is clarice's fatal flaw she thinks that she can do it better and faster and greater than everyone I it's think... similar to annabeth I think hers is but that... But Annabeth isn't so rude about it. Yeah. But I also think that hers would be, like, wanting to be mm. like her the brother. The recognition? Yes. She wants to be a man. Also attention. No. Also attention, I Okay. Think. Okay. So what do you think Luke's fatal flaw would be since we're going in, like, big characters in this book? Luke's fatal flaw is probably similar to mine. He holds a grudge. Judges. Yeah, I see that, too. Yeah. So... Picked on me, not polish off. Mm-hmm. No, just stay. Um, so anyway, I wanted to put in this part right here um, a book recommendation because uh, I've been reading this book for like about uh, like three good weeks right now, three good weeks now, and I'm almost halfway done with it. Mm-hmm. I'm a very slow reader, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> um, if I if, if I haven't said it, I'm a very slow reader. It's called The Valiant, and I don't remember who it's by. I'm gonna go grab it. I'm gonna go grab it right now. Um, time oh, cut. I can <laughs> Google it. Want me to Google it? Please? No, time cut. Oh.
Jordan cuts. But anyway, um, it's called The Valiant, and it is by Leslie Le- Livingstone. Lovely Leslie Livingstone. So it's about the main character. Her name is Fallon. She is a Celtic princess, but she was taken captive by slave traders and sent to Rome. This takes place in ancient Rome, and it's very good. It's about a gladiatrix, and basically making her way from princess to cla- to captive to gladiator. It's really good, and I would totally recommend it if you like all that gladiator, um, ancient civilization stuff, because I do, and I love it so much. It's very good. I totally recommend it. Also, it has a female, uh, it has a strong female protagonist, and that is, that's, that's gold, like, right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, we hope y'all enjoyed this video, and have a, have a, a wonderful a, Halloween. Have a wonderful. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Have a great rest of your day, night, evening, or wherever time you're, or whether you're at the end of the timeline. <laughs> Whether you're watching this at the end of the timeline. All right. Um, yeah. Bye.